Welcome to another video. Today let's recap one of the movie by the name Lethal Seduction, released in 2015. The movie starts off with a young man by the name Mark and his friend Walter. Mark is an 18-year-old living with his overprotective widow mother, Tanya Richard, who has already planned a birthday party for him as she prepares him for college. As Mark is on his day-to-day -day business, he meets up with a middle-aged stunning woman Carissa at the store, she asks him about some shower tools in which Mark gladly gives her advice. As she leaves she invites Mark to her house and offers money to come and install it for him, which he accepts. At her apartment Mark does a good job at fixing the shower and the Carissa tempts the young man in to try it together which he agrees and they end up having an intimate time together. As time passes the two, Carissa and Mark have a good time together as they spend a lot of time on dinner dates. While her mother is worried about the young man staying up late at night, Mark is having a good time. One night Carissa invites herself for dinner and Tanya is shocked by the age difference of Carissa and her son. At the dinner table, they tend to be some tension between the two middle-aged ladies as Tanya doesn't approve her son dating a woman her age. The two women argue about on their difference and Carissa leaves, but before she does she manipulate Mark and they end up leaving together. At her apartment they end up in her swimming pool and Carissa with her enraged fantasy handcuffs Mark and ends up drowning him, but later allows him to come off water and get some air, Mark doesn't pick up on the red flag since he is very excited with the whole ordeal. Tanya does a background check on Carissa and finds out that she is also a widower who has some mysterious past about the death of her husband. Carissa wanting to gain control of the young man tries to invite Mark to move in but the young man politely declined which gets her disappointed. Tanya decides to visit her friend Randy who advises Tanya that if she would give Mark more space to be independent, maybe he would have been caught up with Carissa and would go for a younger lady Melanie who is more suitable for him. Tanya gets an idea and invites Melanie over and gives Mark her car so the two could go out and have a good time together. Mark and Melanie head to the park, where Carissa is able to see both of them and she is enraged by it. She awaits for Melanie and gets inside her car, threatening her with a knife that she should stay away from Mark. As Mark tries to get a hold on Melanie who is scared after being threatened, Tanya is excited to tell Randy about the plan but Randy is having none of it, since he has been a shoulder to cry on for Tanya and he is tired for the past 10 years. Carissa is able to get through to Mark and organizes a meeting with one of the associate about a business plan that Mark was developing. Although Mark doesn't want to go to the meeting Carissa manipulates the young man by calling him out to start making his own decisions. They meet up at Carissa's house, and after the meeting Mark discloses to her that he still wants to leave and be his own man. Carissa angered by it hits Mark at the back of the head and chains him downstairs at a sauna where she tortures him. Later on after countless of missed calls, Tanya decides to go look for his son at Carissa's home where she is also cornered by the Carissa and dragged downstairs to her son, where she finds him seriously injured and dehydrated. Tanya makes a plan on how to escape and is able to hit Carissa in the head, as they run out Carissa chases after them with an intention to harm them, but Randy comes in to rescue them by stabbing Carissa neutralizing her. The movie skips to where we see Mark packing up headed to college together with Melanie, saying goodbye to his friend and mother. Thank you for watching, like and share the video.